Hi guys and welcome to episode 9 of Getting Dev Working by Decker Does Rust. In this episode, like I said previously, we are going to actually do the Emacs Rust mode. So let's have a look what this requires. Apparently uh, Rust mode makes editing Rust code with Emacs enjoyable. Now I don't use Emacs for anything. Again. So this is going to be an interesting one to say the least. Okay, this associates Rust mode with RS files to enable him explicitly do MX Rust mode. That doesn't really help me. Uh, it can be more convenient to use Emacs package manager to handle installation if you uh, for you if you use many Enis libraries. You have package.el but haven't added MELPA. The community package source, yeah. Add, add this to Emacs init.el. Require package added to list package archives and alpha blah, blah blah packages. Package initialize. Then do this to load the package listing, give our buffer and package refresh contents, install Rust mode. Once you have a package EL you can install Rust mode or any other modes by choosing from a list. Packages, packages, now install packages, move your cursor to them and press I. This will mark the package for installation. Once you've done with marking, press X and ELPA will install the packages for you under Emacs at the LPA. Or using MX package install Rust mode package installation on Debian testing or unstable apt install ELPA Rust mode. Okay, I think we're going to do the apt install. Um, to get installed. Yeah, I'm hoping they'll have Rust mode in um, Ubuntu. If not, I'll have to go through all the bits and pieces and stuff. But I'm going to try and keep it to be the Ubuntu side of things. In fact, quick Google before I get started on um, Rust mode in Ubuntu. No. Videos of installing it, that's great. No. Just going to play how to install Ubuntu, install Rust on Ubuntu, no. Okay, I guess I'm going to just try a few apt gets and see. apt get install Emacs. Let's try that first. Or, no, I'm going to Google installing Emacs. Install Emacs on Ubuntu. Uh, 16.04. There we go. Easiest running. Okay, update, which we have done very, very recently. And install Emacs. What I was going to do in the first place, then that's okay. Well, just in case I had another thing to do. Oh, and sorry, sudo. Okay, it's going to be 113 meg, so I'm going to actually pause for the installation. So I'll just say yes, and then I'll pause it, and I'll come back as soon as it's actually installed. Okay, according to that, Emacs is installed, so I'll just run Emacs and take a look. Oh, it's done kind of a GTK Emacs or an X Emacs, whatever you call it. I was half expecting to be in the actual. Um, see, but okay. Offers, tools, options, customize Emacs, it's not saying that. Custom themes, text, multiple groups, option matching, face matching, like, uh, view system font, single environment, offers, tools, search files, compile, shell commands, got quite a lot on it. Um, 
spell check and compare, merge, apply patch, version control. Check in or check out. So it's got all the actual commands next to them, so that's not too bad. So let's research, browse the web calendar, program calculator, single calculator, encrypt games. Sounds a bit weird. Uh, buffers. Now I'm going to have another read of the other things that could be done. That was installing Emacs, then we've got oops. Okay, it's decided to be awkward. Let's try that. Oh, I would try that but I seem to have either closed it or moved it without doing anything. Uh, let's grab this. Seriously, the LPA rust mode. Let's just do it manually then because it's being a bit silly. So let's close this. sudo apt get install ELPA rust mode. Let's see if it's got the packages. Find new package will be installed, and you install blah blah blah. I was not even asking yes or no. And you install for Emacs in favor of Emacs 24. That seems to have done what it was supposed to, theoretically. Um, so if I've just done that, does that mean it's automatically in Rust mode whenever we. Um, Okay, I'm going to actually open a Rust file in this then. Emacs src slash main.rs and see whether it actually has context highlighting and whether it's in Rust mode or what. If it says it's in Rust mode or something, that would be great. It does seem to have context highlighting. Um, and git master rust, that's brilliant. Major mode, display major mode menu. Okay. Um, show help for major mode or top and minor modes. Can I top and minor modes? Interesting. Show help. Rust mode. Okay, so it's definitely in Rust mode. Okay, that's brilliant. So literally we've done all that we needed to to get it to work in Rust mode. So that's pretty cool. Okay, and hello2 is going... Hmm, is this being helpful or something? Yeah, it looks like it is. It's cleaning up the tabs. Um, it's got a different tab setting to Nano, which I prefer this tab setting to be fair. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm also going to have it call uh, Rust mode. And what I'm going to do here is define Rust mode by FM Rust mode. I should, I should do uh, I should do snake case for this really, shouldn't I? Okay, it doesn't actually do auto completion for the um, brackets neither, though. That's rather annoying. Okay. When I say it's rather annoying, I suppose. I think I've just got spoiled by ideas that auto complete, to be honest. Um, 
right side rust mode and it calls rust mode. But in this rust mode, we want it to just do a print line of That work. Now it's to search. Nice to searching. I can actually just click save. That's fine. Why did I right click? That was just silly. Okay. Let's close this for a moment. I'm just going to check. Load in again to make sure it does rust mode. Kill current buffer, that'll close it right. And kill current buffer. How many buffers? Are I've got a load of buffers there. Let's kill this one. And kill this one for the moment. Split window. Okay. Right. I'm going to make this a bit bigger. There we go. I got rid of it. Middle mouse button seems to have got rid of that. So we've got that, and that's saved. So I'm going to actually exit this. And now I'm just going to do a git status modified. So git add dot git commit um, edited with Emacs in Rust. And added Rust mode function. There we go. Get push origin. Okay, so that's done that. Now let's take another look at the repository in a moment. Let's move that out of the way from it. Go over here. Rust Hello World. We've now got Rust mode in there, that's brilliant. And it's edited with Emacs in Rust mode and added Rust mode function. So that's that. Okay. So we've been almost 14 minutes so far, and let's do it. Let's just out of interest do um, cd dot um, okay. Duh. isn't particularly uh, relevant to the actual stuff. I'm just testing something on um, Emacs. I think it's already got highlighting for it. Let's see. Yeah, major mode. Let's see. No minor modes, blah, blah, blah. C CC mode EL, major mode for editing KNR and ANSI C code. There we go. So let's go and do
Okay. Oh, yeah, let's actually return an integer. It's asking us to. Okay, and then save. Just wanted to have a look at what it's got. Tools. We'll compile actually compile. Make K. Hmm. It just shows up. Oh, okay, that's fine. I don't want to particularly compile that. There's nothing to do with what I was actually doing. Okay, so that's fine. Um, that's a bit um, satirical sort of thing. It doesn't anything to do with what we were doing. I just felt like doing a seat. Hello world. Now I want to quickly go back into the um, Rust Hello. And I want to do a Emacs on the src slash main.rs. And because I saw that you can do a compile. Um, in C, can we do a compile in Rust? Compile make K. That's nah, not. That's a bit too ambiguous and doesn't really do anything to do with it. Oh, yeah. Let's try this. Tools. Compile. Okay. Attempted to do. Okay, that's a bit weird. Let's try again. Tools. No, it's still trying to do make K. So the main RS isn't actually um, doing any sort of things there. So if compile shell command and so on and so forth, there's anything to do with. There's not really anything in Rust area here to say that's going to do anything specific. Okay. So it was just more of a out of interest whether we actually allowed you to just click compile and compile the rust or the cargo stuff like you'd presume there'd be something in that, that does that but okay so that's about it really for this episode there's uh, a bit of off-topic stuff there with the GCC 